when we see the trailer of Bombay Meri Jaan, it was like quite uh, nostalgic and you know, Bombay and the 70s and underworld is, is a familiar territory. But Shujat, let me tell, start with you. How do you recreate a familiar territory in a way that it still sounds unfamiliar? What all did you do new to this world? I don't think uh, I've uh, done anything new. I think what I've done is brought my sensibility to it. Uh, the world is familiar, as you mentioned. Mm. Uh, the universe has been, you know, established uh, way before uh, Bombay Meri Jaan. Yeah. But uh, the take on this is that at the end of the day, it is a family drama. Hmm. It is about a family. Uh, the world of the organized crime happens to be a backdrop hmm. of it. It is uh, essentially the story of uh, one man who somewhere reaches a point in his uh, life where certain choices that he makes and the repercussions of those choices fall on the family and the city at large. Yeah. And how he deals with them, he questions them. There is a resemblance to one character from the 70s. Is it true or no? Are Which we referring to one uh, dawn of the 70s or no? Or is it like a fictional story and there's no semblance to anybody living or dead? <coughs> no, there is no uh, resemblance. Okay. Uh, I think the re resemblance has been coming in because uh, of uh, Mr. Hussain Zaidi, who was the person who came with the story. Yeah. And Dungri to Dubai, Black Friday, Mafia Queens of uh, Mumbai are books which are already in the public domain. Right. right? I mean, people have read them and loved them. Mm. This is not that. Yeah. I mean, of course, I know that there is a huge uh, this about this being doing it to Dubai. It is not doing it to, okay. to Dubai. It goes way beyond mm. that. Of course, there would be parallels drawn because it is part of the same universe, yes. right? Yeah. But having said that, yes, this is a very different story. A even uh, from, uh, uh, you know, Zaidi's point of view, I mm. think uh, there's something which is really driven home emotionally here. KK, let me start with you. Listen, you've been one of my favorite actors and I want to tell you how much we all love you, KK. Thank you, thank you. I see you mostly in characters that are not soft. Mm. That are mostly, they dwell on the machismo of a character. The male, the aggression, the some negative trait. However, your contemporary, again, Irfan Saab, who I was friends with, mm. also went to a zone of soft, mm. romantic, Shairi, you know, that appeal to a woman mm. and the audience at large. And I wanted to, and I've, I think, told you also several times. Has it been a conscious choice or just those projects fell into your lap that way, that your portrayal was mostly of a certain kind? And would you like to do more of soft, easy, romantic roles? Yeah, why not? Comedy. I mean, it all depends on what, what is offered to you. Mm. That's not my call because what is offered to you, we tend to kind of uh, push an actor into a certain type of thing. Mm. Um, but when uh, Honeymoon Travels fell on my lap, I, I loved it. So, uh, so things like that happen once in a yeah, while. Uh, or Sankat City falls in my lap. <coughs> So that's that's a choice that I make from the platter that I'm offered. Mm. So uh, beyond that, I don't solicit it consciously. Mm. So whatever is there, I try to do my best possible within that framework. And would you like to tell the media universe that you're open to doing more of romantic and comedy and softer <laughs> roles, which I'm, dwell uh, into the diversity of a human uh, emotions? I'm um, open to more interesting performances, that's all. I, I really don't, can't cat categorize it as... Naseer Saab, when you have debuted in the theatre, it has made you and scarred you for life. In fact, Gopal Express was very soft, bro. I was scarred. I mean, I was scarred. No, but then when I... It was good, no? Didn't make out, no? Okay, good. It was very soft, in the Gopal Express. So tell me about your role. I mean, how much is it about the son and how much is it about the father? It's about a family, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. A family placed by destiny in an environment which is, uh, which is a different environment altogether. So that environment, the basic supremacy that people aspire for, including kids, mm. is not because not, not becoming a doctor or an engineer. Mm. And they see the flashy uh, cars and the flashy suits yeah. uh, derived out of crime. And that becomes their, that become their ideal uh, you know, to go after. Mm. So that's an environment in which uh, this family uh, is placed by destiny. And there's a father, mm. uh, Ismail, whom I'm playing, uh, who is on the side of the law, who wants to clean up this yeah. whole environment. How much does he succeed, doesn't succeed, is the story. Mm. But 
he has a family uh, which he really can't control especially one son who is completely who played by uh, avinash mm. who is completely determined <coughs> to uh, take it further mm. rather than going back and uh, to peace and quiet of it mm. so uh, it, it's, a, it's a story of a certain ambition mm. with be somebody who wants to clean up that whole mess uh, uh, and also thereby even the father committing mistakes of of uh, even if your intention is very pure uh, yeah. the manifestation of that intention can could can be cruel hmm. you know things like yeah. that so yeah. a father and son relationship of that kind which is always a very filled with a lot of stress and tension hmm. uh, things like that so yeah uh, it's an interesting uh, person to play avinash i loved your film ye hai mera sunday uh, you played rashid and incidentally many years ago i had seen you in a show called yug yud yud yeah, yeah. so you play his father one this is a beautiful contrast of an experienced actor and a new actor with probably same sense of sensibility towards the craft and and this role it's a catch yeah it is what i found interesting here was that it was a composite of of uh, the stories that we have heard over a period of time mm. uh, all the reportage that has happened over a period of time and you you felt that the script had taken uh some instances and traits from various characters and made one uh, guy called dara kadri mm. uh, which i found was very exciting that you get a chance to bring various traits of various guys into one the story in itself was extremely uh, invigorating i i think uh, um you know should that sir keep mentioning this and i i i found that the most interesting part that it's not just a father son mm. uh, story it's it's almost like you you strip off the relationship and it becomes man versus man oh. it's a battle of ideologies Wonderful. and uh, once it gets there it is very very exciting then the crime the underbelly all of that becomes a backdrop uh, yeah. the gangster is just a profession there's so much more to it and to get a chance to do something like this uh, get a chance to say be called bombay ka naya badshah it's very cool you know i can i can go off to my parents and say dekha bombay ka naya badshah pratika again i like i said really like your trajectory i recently watched you in hash hash and then of course that movie mitro and lots of lots of stuff coming keeps coming up on my smart tv where i see you um who are you playing here and overall what's like what's your vision of your own career where do you want to go and what has been your challenges as a young girl looking for great projects that suit you in the film industry right now Oh that's a that's a lot of things. Uh, I'll start with my character. Hmm. I play Habiba Kadri. I am Dara's younger sister. Uh being the youngest sibling I've noticed that even in life the youngest ones the younger ones haven't really seen the struggles of their parents and you know tend to like idolize their older siblings yeah. or like you know follow their steps and that's kind of what happens here. She really looks up to Dara hmm. and uh kind of like agrees with everything that he is doing mm. um, they are similar in many ways uh, but she's also a you know she also has a mind of her own mm. she's a woman with agency over the season you see how she kind of influences dara and his decisions and how the changes in his life and what he's bringing to the family mm. change her ambition and her wants for herself all the best to you and looking forward to a lot more from you thank, thank, thank you thank you so, thank you so much, so much.